What's up, bookish babies? Welcome and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you guys my very ambitious June TBR. This month, I chose a lot of books that I want to read, whether it's for videos or mood reading. I added it to my TBR to share with you guys because I'm just in a reading mood now. Um, I took a couple weeks and I mood read. I read every book that I wanted to read and that was about it. So... I want to share with you guys my TBR. I have a cart right here. Well, as you can see, this little brown top right here is the top that goes on top of my TBR cart. I got it from Michaels. So, yeah. So, the first book I want to read this month is a book that everyone has been talking about. They've been ranting and raving about this book, and that is Fourth Wing. I want to read this book because I've seen so many girls on TikTok, on YouTube, on Instagram, Pinterest, Lemon 8. Everyone has been ranting and raving about this book and how it is about dragons and basically, I forgot what they, they compared it to. I want to go into this book blind. I want to know what's going on i want to read about it i want to see if it's love interest is in here i am so interested in reading this book so this will be the very 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 first book that i read in june because i have fomo so i want to read this see what the hype about see if i enjoy the book just as much as all the other girlies and i still haven't got my hands on a copy probably like a week after i seen it going around on interwebs so i grab this copy and this is gonna be the very first book i read in june the next book i want to read is an old book from tiktok that everyone used to rant and rave about and it is ace of space i don't read this apparently it's about these um a students who get in blackmail to do stuff that can jeopardize their um valedictorian and their college experience i want to read this i want to see what it's about i've been meaning to read this for the longest but i just been putting it off and putting it off and putting it off but this month i am going to get to it because i remember the hype around this book was crazy so it's a space it's going to be a next goodie that we're going to be reading this month um you're probably going to see the video that i'm going to reference after this so it probably come out next Saturday. But I read The Naturals by Jen, um, Jennifer Lee um, Barnes. I read The Naturals by her. This is the second book in that series. It's basically a Chronomine inspired book. If I may say, it's about these um, five teenagers that have natural power or natural abilities and profiling. You have two natural profilers. You have a uh, guy a boy that is um i guess you would say empath if you really want to say it but he's natural he's a natural at reading people's emotions and then you have one that can tell whether you're lying or not and then you have the girl that is good with numbers and statistics and stuff like that so i enjoyed that book i actually got a book before star this is the second book in that series I'm going to dive into this. I cannot wait. I absolutely love the first one so much because it reminded me of an episode in Criminal Minds that was so freaking good to me. So, if you love Criminal Minds, Law and Order, or anything of that sort, mostly Criminal Minds because that's where they had the profilers and stuff at. If you love Criminal Minds, you'll love The Naturals, the whole series of The Naturals by um, Jen Jennifer Lee Barnes. I cannot get her name now. The next book is Blood Like Magic. I want to read this because I'm I'm really waiting on Fate Like Magic to come out. I think it's Faith. I think it's Faith. Faith Like Magic or something like that. I'm waiting for the other book to this series to come out in paperback before I read this one because I don't want to buy it in hardcover. So that's why I've been putting this book off, but I really want to read this one. So we're going to read this in the month of June and stop putting it off. I want to read this. The next book is Renegade. I've seen um, Sarah Caroli and Haley, no, Sarah Caroli and Destiny Sitwell read this book and they were just obsessed with it. So, 
I decided, let me add this to my June TBR since I have it. I want to read it. I want to see what it's about. It's by um, Marissa Meyer. She wrote a book that Marissa Meyer right? Heartless. It was another book that she wrote that I own. Huh. It was a book that she was known for. I can, I'll locate it soon. But she wrote, um, I, I'm telling you what she wrote. Like, I don't know. But here are some of the books that she wrote. But this is not the book that I'm referring to in Heartless. I have Heartless as well, but I have it in hardcover. So, I want to read this. But this is going to be, apparently it's like a secret society of villains. So, I want to read this. I'm going to, this is going to be on my TBR. How many pages is it? It is 5.52, and it's a whole series to this. So, if I like this one, I think it's like the first book that I purchased that I didn't buy the whole series to, just because I was skeptical. But yeah, I'm going to read this. That's going to be another one. Now, on to my summer and beachy reads and new releases that I have not read yet. I... Read all of any Emily Herring books and stuff where people we meet on vacation. So, we're going to add this to the TBR. I want to see what this is about. A lot of people said they like this book. Then again, they were like, they don't, it's, it's something in here that they don't vibe with as much. So, I want to read it and see what I think about it. See if I like it. But, I want to go ahead and read it because that means I read all of Emily Herring books. So, then I want to read... <laughs> The Love Wager by Lynn Painter. I absolutely love the do-over by her. I'm not a fan of better than the movies. I'm not I'm not sure why. But it reminds me so much of a movie or did I, I feel like when the, as re I can't even talk. When I read that book, I felt like I either read that book before or I seen a movie that that book was based upon before. I'm not sure. But this one happens to be this um, guy and this girl and guy was at a uh, wedding and they end up running into each other on this dating site and they decided to make a love wager to see who found love first. Not with each other, but with other people. So that's what this one's supposed to be about. I want to read this. And then we have Meet Me at the Lake by Carly Fortune. I purchased this book. I was so excited to read this book, but I've been seeing so many mixed reviews on this book that i was like mm, i'm gonna wait i'm gonna wait till everybody get their opinions out get their thoughts and on this book but everyone said like the summer vibes in this book is there it's just missing something like they didn't like the way she wrote it or something but i've been waiting for this book since last year and now that i have it i have not even picked up or read it so but we're gonna read it. 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 After we, after we read fourth one, we might start reading this. I'm not sure. I'm so scared. It's a then and now. So we will see. We will see. Apparently, it's about this girl and the guy who spent one day together, and they were supposed to meet a couple years later, and or something that sort of the sorts. And the guy never showed up. But then. She ended up taking over her mom's some type of business uh, resort, I'm guessing. And he ended up showing up 10 years late. And, yep. Yeah. But, we'll see. The next book I'm going to be reading is Floats. This is a Wattpad book. Um, if I'm not mistaken, they said she started writing this when she was younger. And then she finished it up. And a lot of people said they can tell. When they get halfway in where she started writing it when she was an adult because it gets gradually better. So, we're going to be reading this. See, this is about, see if I love this book or not. But it's based out in Florida. Apparently, this girl and her, this girl parents are going through a divorce. And they trying to see who she's going to spend summer with. But all in all, she ended up going to Florida to stay with her auntie for the summer where she meet her auntie next door. This hot boy, hot boy next door to her auntie. And they end up hanging out, him, her friends. She finally got friends because she, she was staying with her mom or whoever she was staying with. She barely had friends. So, that that's, that's the logic of that book. So, the next book is When in Rome. I want to read all of Sarah Adam books, but 
uh, mm, they're pretty short and they look like they're pretty easy to get through. So I probably can fit all three of the books that I own for her. Well, yeah, three of the books that I own for her into this TBR, which is the cheat sheet, practice make perfect, and of course, when in Rome. Um, they said these two are interconnecting standalone, so um, that's why I chose to read this one first, then this one. So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and add those onto the TBR as well. So, <laughs> Put that up there. The next book is by Abby Jimenez and it's part of your world. <laughs> A lot of people love this book. Destiny was talking about how much she loved um, Abby Jimenez writing. So I purchased this book a while ago. I had it on my shelf. So I was like, I might well give it a try this month because I feel like it gives off summer vibes. Who knows? I just put it on my TBR because I wanted book three as well as her new release. Yours truly is on my TBR as well. Apparently he's a doctor in here. Um, I listened to a couple well a couple of minutes on the audiobook of this one apparently the guy is in here it's a doctor romance they call him dr death i like child i don't know i don't i don't know what's going on in any of these books that's on my tbr because i like to go into the books blind so that i can form my own opinion on the book but yeah you're truly in part of your world by abby Jimenez are added to this month's tbr and the next book is ouch love in other words i told you guys i was going to reread this book and see was i just tripping or the hype around this book is legit and well i'm not gonna say hype because people can have their own opinions on whether they like a book or not i don't have to necessarily like a book because everybody else like it but I wanted to see if it was because I was in a reading slump because I read this when I first got back into reading. And around that time, I was just flying through books. Like, I was flying through books. Like, I was reading two full books a day. Like, that was just how crazy it was. I was reading, like, two full books a day. I started off reading Colleen Hooper books, and I was, like, speed reading those books. So, I kind of sped read through this one. So, I want to reread this and see what my thoughts is on it. I have, as you can see, I still have the old cover. It's, it still looks brand new because, yeah. I'm going to reread this. I'm going to give this a try. I'll reread to see was I tripping or do my opinion on this book stand. So, we're going to be reading Love in Other Words. The next book I want to read is The Witch. I've seen a lot of people. I'm sorry if I'm leaning down, but I'm trying to grab the books from on the shelf. A lot of people have been talking about this book. I'm not even sure what this book's about. Um, she wanted to go to it's about witches, as you can I see young witches. I'm not even sure what this book about, but I seen it on TikTok and everyone was talking about it when I went to Big Books a Million to go look around and shop. The girl was like, That book is so good and I think she was like she loved the lady the Arthur. I haven't read not one book by her, so she had a couple other books. At Books a Million. But the girls were like, she loved the art of, was it this book or was it, I think it was this book? Or was it Promising Pomegranates? I don't know. I might add Promising Pomegranate to the TBR as well because apparently it's supposed to be a dark romance. And I don't, I read like one dark romance and that was. The villain kiss and i didn't like that book because i felt it was too short it was too rushed for me so i it, in my brain i was like i may not just don't i may not like dark romance so we're gonna give this one a try and see if i enjoy this book and i think i went in the book to me and the day after purchase of this and i realized that it was a whole series i don't know why i realized it then when it has that one big old one right there and then it say book one on the front of the cover i I don't read. I just seen Promising Pomegranates. And I was like, oh, that's a pretty cover. Let's buy. So, I'm adding these two. Well, this one is already on the TBR. TBR and I'm adding Promising Pomegranates. So, that is the TBR for the month of June. As you can see, it is 
pretty high up there. It's pretty tall. It's bigger, larger than any of my other TBRs that usually like six or seven books. But this is what we're going to be trying to get through in the month of June. If we don't get through it, we'll just push some of the books to July and push them to August. And just keep on pushing and pushing and pushing. Because in September, I will be going on a cruise. So whatever I don't get to in these following months. I'm taking with me on a cruise. So, that is the end of today's video. If you enjoyed today's video, give the video a thumbs up. Comment down below. Let me know some of the books that's on your TBR. If you read any of the books that's on my TBR. Let me know if you read any of these books and what's your thoughts and opinions on the book. And, yeah. I'll see you guys in my next video.